Let's do a quick problem just to show that you use these kinematic equations the same as you did for translation. Let's imagine a bike wheel spinning at three revolutions per second, and then somehow it stops in a half second. Uh, what is the angular acceleration, and how far does it turn when it stops? So I've got one here just to help you visualize it a little bit. So let's say this thing is going at three revolutions per second. Let's see. That's close. Right? And now it's going to stop in half a second because I'm going to grab it. Ow. OK, so let's just think about the part where it's slowed down. That's what we're analyzing. How fast was the angular acceleration? So it's a straightforward application of the kinematics equation. Finding this acceleration is always the one that students always will make too hard. Because they'll think it must involve something, how far it went. Well, no, this is just the change in velocity is acceleration in the time. In this case, the angular version. Omega final um, equals omega initial plus, two, uh, plus alpha times t. That's really all we need to get started to find um, alpha. So what was the final angular velocity? It was 0. I stopped it. The initial angular velocity, uh, well, we need that in radians per second. So we've got to think. We were given this as 3 revolutions per second. So we've just got to convert that. Right? It's just 3 times around, but each time around is 2 pi. So it's just 3 times 2 pi. So it is uh, 3 times 2 pi radians in 1 second. So it's really just 6 pi radians per second. Uh, plus alpha is what we're looking for. And then t, I said it happened in half second. Okay. So you just solve that for alpha. Right? So you bring this over here, and you figure out, oh, alpha is going to be negative. Right? Alpha is going to be negative 6 pi divided by 0.5. It comes out numerically to minus 37.7 radians per second squared. Right? So there's your angular acceleration, exactly like what you would have done in a translational problem. The other question is, uh, how far did it rotate during this change in angular velocity, during this acceleration? So for that, um, you could go to, let's see, well, you could do it with either the combo equation or with regular kinematics. Why don't we do plain old kinematics and say, let's going to be theta final equals theta initial plus um, uh, initial omega t, uh, 3 times 2, well, 6 pi radians per second. We already calculated that. Times t, 0.5 seconds plus 1 half at squared. 1 half a, but now a is the angular acceleration, minus 37.7, minus 30, oh, he's running out of room, radians per second squared. 1 half a, and then also multiply by 0.5 seconds squared. So you do all that, and you get that theta final minus theta initial um, is uh, the number I got. You can check me. is 4.7 radians. Right, 4.7 radians, so a whole trip around is 2 pi is 6.28 radians. So that means I must have, if I was roughly getting the numbers right, I must have stopped it in less than a rotation. Let's check the videotape. Not bad, not bad, not bad. So there you go. Using these is just like using them for translational.